Des Rezas don't come cheap. But then again, spend enough and your home could be a proper little castle. And this is the lounge, which is lovely in the summer, and the well-appointed kitchen. Mrs. Wilmer will love it. And this is the dining room, the master bedroom, which is ensuite, of course. And this is the last of the four bedrooms. Right, great. So, a large family house with four bedrooms, dining room, huge living room, spacious garden, yours for £170,000. Or, for the same money, you can have something a little smaller. A house, admittedly, that hasn't got four bedrooms, but on the plus side, it does have four wheels. Caravans, eh? To their owners, they are charming houses on wheels. But to many other drivers, they are mobile constipation, clogging up the roads on bank holidays. But what we have here is something rather special. This is the Monaco Windsor, just arrived from America, and the biggest, flashiest motorhome ever to go on sale in Britain. And yet, it does cost £170,000. So what do you get for your money? Well, imagine Blenheim Palace with a tax disc and you'll be just about there. Standard equipment includes leather love seats and that most precious camping luxury of all, a real shower room complete with brass fittings. In the kitchen there's two sinks, a full three hobber and real oak effect panels with everything lit and powered by the motorhome's own generator. But this is the best bit. Just watch this. We do not tolerate narrow motorhomes, Mr. Bond. In the evening, after a long but luxurious day on the road, you can relax by watching telly or even a video. Naturally, the sofas convert into beds, but hey, why slum it when you've got your own bedroom just down the corridor? And don't worry about the screams from the bug-infested tent dwellers outside keeping you awake at night. Naturally, the windows are double glazed. Trailer for sale or rent. But now comes the buttock clenching bit, driving 38 feet of American iron on Britain's winding and twisty little roads. Wow! Captain's log, stardate something or other. Let's see, I've got auto and tiptronic gear selectors here. And instead of a rear view mirror, I've got this nifty TV camera which allows me to see out of the back so that I don't knock over the Midlands when I'm reversing. Third box car, midnight. Space age it may be, but what's Scotty been up to down in the engine room? On the road, the Windsor is a rather stately motorhome, despite its massive 8.3 litre, 300 horsepower turbo diesel engine. But then again, that's hardly surprising because the whole kit and caboodle weighs 11 tonnes. To make life easier, though, you've got a walloping 820 pounds of torque and a sophisticated air suspension system to keep things level. I wouldn't say it's a piece of cake to drive, but you don't need to be Eddie Stobart either. There is one problem, though. This is the Britain of Blair and Prescott, and they want us to drive around literally in dinky cars. Well, if that's the case, I think I've got just the thing. Now, where is it? The Daihatsu Hijacker, the smallest motorhome in the world. It's not exactly the sort of vehicle that says you've arrived. But then again, there's not many places you'd want to turn up at in this thing. With its thundering 1-litre, 47-brake horsepower engine, it is absolutely hideous to drive. Right, can I stop now? Please? On the plus side, it's cheap, costs about a seventeenth of the big one, and you could probably reach China on a tenner's worth of petrol. It's also got everything. It's got a bed, it's got a cooker, um, a, a bed, 
uh, cooker, um, bed, cooker. Whoa, whoa, potty. Right, so, money no object, which one is it going to be? Ooh, that is a toughie. Let's go mad and have the big one. And of course, if money is an object, then you can always... No, I'll walk. <laughs>